Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera here. It is almost Christmas time and we're preparing all kinds of goodies in the kitchen and I thought I would take you along with me as we do this. This has been a very popular blog post for me. So a lot of guys, a lot of you guys out there have seen this or a version of this and this is so delicious. I'm making it for Christmas Eve so I wanted to share with you a big hit that you can create real fast in your kitchen and take with you wherever you're going. I'm telling you it's going to be a fantastic treat for everybody. This is what you call the honey cinnamon butter. If you've been to a certain restaurant with kind of a Texas style, they are famous for this. They put it on their wonderful rolls and everybody loves it. Well, we have a version of it for you today and we're going to show you how easy it is to make it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to have two sticks of softened butter. Already done that. I've gone ahead and put it down in the KitchenAid for ease of the video. And so that's that. Very simple. The next thing you're going to add, get ready is one cup of powdered sugar. I've already pre-measured that for you just for the ease of the uh, video. So you're gonna put that down in there. Just shake it off right down on in there. The next thing that you're gonna add, which is um, just wonderful, if you can get it local, it's best, is honey. This is from a local beef um, farmer up here. So we're gonna add in one cup of honey. So two sticks of butter, softened, you know, at room temperature, ready to rock and roll. One cup of honey, and my, my measurement here, I did it out in the bowl, it may not be exact, but we're not, we're not gonna sweat the small stuff. One cup of powdered sugar, we've already done that. And then you wanna add about one to two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, that's totally up to you. I would just dash it in there. Now on my blog, when I created my blog, I did all of this. But because it was more of the fall time of year, I also added in just a hair of pumpkin pie spice. You won't believe how good that makes it. But the basic recipe is what I've shown you. If you want to add something in there just to add a little bit more flair for the season, that's an option for you. I'm going to leave it out, but that is what my blog post is. So we're going to go for that. So what I'm going to do is just put it down, lock it in place, and we're going to start whipping it up. And you may have to stop it and mix it up a little bit and help it out and scrape the sides. That's to be expected. It just depends upon how well um, it's mixing. And it's mixing pretty good. Can you see down in there? Pretty good. So what I'm gonna do then is after it gets whipped up really good is I'm going to place it um, in one of these cute little like jelly jars. We're gonna actually have this tonight. We're gonna have some of it tonight because I've got sweet potatoes baking in the oven. Uh, we're going to have meatballs and rolls and all kinds of goodies. So I thought I would make some of this for a little bit for tonight for our sweet potatoes, but a whole lot for tomorrow night for our goodies at uh, our Christmas, family Christmas Eve event. So let's see how we're doing here. So you're just going to have to work with it. As you can see, I've got one little chunk of butter. It's a little bit thick. We'll start mixing it down. And you're just going to keep mixing it. And when you get it to the texture that you like, then we'll just place it right there in the jelly jar for you. All right, we're going to keep working it. All right, I've gone through this, and I'm going through my last little whip here, just letting it whip and work, and then letting it finish the texture. You can kind of see that it's worked really well. So this is going to be the final whipping on this. This took maybe... 30 seconds to a minute. So you're gonna get a great payoff for this. All right, we're gonna turn this off. And we're gonna get it in the jelly jar. All right, so I'm just gonna put some in the jelly jar. You can see this is turning out really, really good. So the idea is to take this, place all this butter in the jelly jar, straighten it up a little bit, put a lid on it, and tomorrow night when we take the cheesecake and pumpkin pie and cranberry salad and we get ready to rock and roll with some turkey and ham and green beans and collard greens and all of that good stuff and those fresh rolls of my Nana's come out of the oven. This is going to be waiting right on the table for everybody to enjoy. In fact, we've got extra, so we're going to enjoy it tonight. Hope you enjoy watching us here at Appalachia's Homestead. You have got to try this.
I'm telling you. In fact, I'm about to try it right now. If you like what you see here, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram and all the good places. You're not going to be disappointed in this. We appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a great holiday season, and we'll talk to you soon.